Welcome to our YouTube channel A to Z Summary. Here is a detailed analysis and summary of the book Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Moss. Before proceeding further I request you to please subscribe our channel and like the video, also comment your favorite books and novel so that I can provide summary for it, now let's start with the summary. The themes of the book are The characters in the book are Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Amas is a captivating fantasy novel that follows the story of Selina Sardothian, a skilled assassin who was offered a chance at freedom by participating in a competition to become the king's champion. Set in a richly imagined world, the book combines elements of magic, mystery, and romance. The protagonist, Selina, is a complex and strong-willed character with a mysterious past. As she navigates the challenges of the competition, readers get to explore her personal growth, friendships, and budding romances. The plot is filled with unexpected twists and turns, keeping readers on the edge of their seats. The world-building in Throne of Glass is vivid, with a detailed and immersive setting that adds depth to the narrative. The novel weaves together elements of politics, magic, and court intrigue, creating a story that appeals to fans of both action and romance genres. In Part 1, the story begins in the harsh and oppressive land of Adarlan, a kingdom ruled by a tyrannical king who has outlawed magic and enslaved its users. We are introduced to our protagonist, Selina Sardothian, a renowned assassin who has been captured and enslaved in the salt mines of Endivir as punishment for her crimes. Selina's reputation precedes her, and whispers of her lethal skills reach the ears of Crown Prince Dorian Havilliard. Dorian approaches Selina with an offer, if she competes in a deadly tournament to become the king's champion, she will earn her freedom after serving for four years. Reluctantly, Selina agrees, and Act 1 follows her journey from the salt mines to the glass castle in Rifthold, the capital of Adarlan. As Selina arrives at the castle, she is met with hostility from her fellow competitors, all of whom are convicted criminals. The competition, known as the King's Champion Tournament, involves a series of grueling physical and mental challenges. Selina quickly establishes herself as a force to be reckoned with, showcasing her exceptional combat skills and strategic mind. Meanwhile, Selina forms complicated relationships with two key characters, Dorian, the charming and conflicted crown prince, and Kale Westfall, the captain of the guard, who initially regards her with suspicion. The dynamics between these characters set the stage for the unfolding drama. In part two, the tournament progresses with escalating challenges, and Selina faces both physical and magical trials. Along the way, she discovers a mysterious and ancient library hidden within the castle, where she encounters a cryptic figure named Elena. Elena reveals the existence of wordmarks, symbols of magical power, scattered throughout the castle. As Selena navigates the competition, she begins to suspect that something more sinister is at play. Fellow contestants are murdered in brutal fashion, and Selena herself is targeted. Unraveling the mystery becomes as crucial as winning the tournament, and Selena forms alliances with unexpected allies, including Princess Nehemia, a visitor from a conquered land. The tension intensifies as Selena delves deeper into the secrets of the castle and her own mysterious past. She learns about the word keys, magical artifacts that could reshape the destiny of the kingdom. The stakes are raised, and the line between friend and foe becomes increasingly blurred. In Part 3, amidst the growing darkness, Selina's relationships face strain. Her friendship with Princess Nehemia is tested when Nehemia's true motives come to light, and Kale struggles with his conflicting loyalties. Dorian, torn between duty and personal feelings, finds himself entangled in a web of political intrigue. As the tournament nears its climax, Selina's suspicions are confirmed, a malevolent force is manipulating events from the shadows. The murders are part of a larger conspiracy, and Selina realizes that the true enemy may not be among her fellow competitors but within the castle itself. In a shocking twist, the identity of the puppet master is revealed to be none other than the king himself, a practitioner of forbidden magic seeking ultimate power. The word keys, when combined, can unlock a portal to a realm of immense magic, and the king is determined to harness its power for his own nefarious purposes. In Part 4, Selina, now fully aware of the impending danger, must confront the king and prevent the catastrophic consequences of his plan. With the help of her allies, including Dorian, Kale, and Princess Nehemia, she embarks on a perilous journey to find and secure the word keys before the king. The final act is a roller coaster of emotions and high stakes battles. Selina faces her deepest fears and grapples with the realization that her destiny is intricately tied to the fate of a darling. Loyalties are tested, sacrifices are made, 
and the true extent of Selena's power is unleashed. The climax of the story sees Selena facing off against the king in a breathtaking magical duel. The fate of the kingdom hangs in the balance as she draws upon her assassin skills, her magical abilities, and the strength of her bonds with those she loves. In a cathartic and intense resolution, Selena triumphs over the king, preventing the catastrophic consequences of his dark ambitions. The kingdom of Adarlan is forever changed, and Selena, now embracing her true identity as Aelina Shriver Galathinius, faces an uncertain future. The story concludes with an epilogue that hints at the challenges and adventures that lie ahead for Aelin and her friends. The kingdom is on the path to recovery, and Aelin, along with her allies, is determined to reshape Adarlan into a land of justice and freedom. The relationships forged in the crucible of the King's Champion Tournament are forever altered, and the characters, having faced their demons, emerge stronger and more resilient. The novel closes with a sense of both closure and anticipation, leaving the door open for future adventures in the richly imagined world of the Darlin. What is Throne of Glass about? Throne of Glass follows the story of Selena Sardothian, a skilled assassin, who is offered a chance for freedom by the Crown Prince if she wins a deadly competition. What is the central conflict in Throne of Glass? The central conflict revolves around Selena's participation in a competition to become the king's champion and earn her freedom. Who is Selena Sardothian? Selena is a skilled assassin known as the Adarlenian Shield. She is captured and sentenced to 13 years of slavery in the salt mines of Endivir. What is the king's champion competition? The King's Champion Competition is a brutal tournament held every year to find the King's new champion and personal assassin. Who is Dorian Havilliard? Dorian is the crown prince of Adarlan and the son of the tyrannical king of Adarlan. He is kind-hearted and conflicted about his father's rule. Who is Kale Westfall? Kale is the captain of the Royal Guard and Dorian's best friend. He is fiercely loyal and protective of both Dorian and Selina. What are the word marks? The word marks are magical symbols that grant power to those who can control them. They are sought after by both good and evil forces. What is the Valg? The Valg is an ancient evil entity that has been imprisoned for centuries. It seeks to break free and consume the world. Who is Nehemia Itgar? Nehemia is a princess from Ilwi, a rebel kingdom fighting against a Darlin. She forms a close bond with Selena. What is the Iron Teeth Witch? The Iron Teeth Witch is a powerful and feared witch who serves the Valg. She is Selena's greatest enemy. What is the Assassin's Guild? The Assassin's Guild is a secretive organization that trains and employs assassins. Selena was once a member of the Guild, but she left after a traumatic event. What is the Court of Terrasun? The Court of Terrasun is the former ruling body of Terrasun, a kingdom destroyed by a Darlin. Selena is the rightful heir to the throne. What is the fate of Selena and the Thirteen? Selena and the Thirteen must fight together to defeat the Valg and save Irelia. Their journey is filled with danger, sacrifice, and ultimately, hope. Is there a love triangle in the story? Yes, the story includes a love triangle between Selena, Kale, and Dorian. What is the significance of the word marks in the story? The word marks play a role in revealing ancient secrets and connecting characters to a larger magical world. How does Selena's character evolve throughout the novel? Selena undergoes significant character development, moving from a hardened assassin to a more complex and compassionate character. What is the significance of the Glass Castle in the novel? The Glass Castle serves as the main setting for the competition and is where the candidates compete for the title of the King's Champion. What is Selena's background as an assassin? Selena has a dark and mysterious past as an assassin, earning her the title of a Darlin's assassin. What is the significance of the library in the Assassin's Keep? The library holds ancient texts and knowledge about magic, history, and other secrets. It becomes a place of refuge and learning for Selena. What happens to Selena at the end of the book? Selena wins the king's competition but is forced to leave Dorian and Kale behind. She journeys to Wendland, where she learns more about her heritage and powers. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more bookish content.